your mind We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl So this is how I do like my weekly meal planner. I'm not going to lie, I don't stick to it all the time. Sometimes I switch some of them round. Um, but nine times out of ten we do stick to this um, and it's just nice and easy for me to use. Um, but this is what I will always write before I go shopping. Just so that I have an idea in my head of what we're going to have for that week. Like I say, I don't always stick to it. Sometimes I buy, might buy something a little bit different. Um, for example, if I didn't want chicken risotto and I wanted mushroom risotto, then obviously those things are nice and easy to change. Um, or for example, if we had lasagna and I didn't fancy it, then you can change that to spaghetti bolognese. You could change that to a chili con carne. Sorry, the girls are in the background. But yeah, so this is what I try and stick to for the week. Um, this is from the lovely Rain's Kitchen, so I'll tag their Instagram page below. They have so many meal ideas for little ones and they are just my go-to. So just to have a look at some meals, especially for Everly. Um, but yeah, this is what I am using for my me weekly meal planner at the moment. Um, I hope it gives you guys um, a couple of ideas. But let's go straight into it and I will show you what we bought on our Audi food shop. So Tesco's from the gluten free range for Little Everly too. So I have tried to organise this into some kind of order for you guys. So let's start off down here. We have got, oh I haven't really done that well actually with um, <laughs> putting things in places. Typical that Mark phones me whilst I'm doing this, isn't it? But he doesn't call me for the rest of the day. Um, anyway, so I have tried to put an order, but really that should be over here. But anyway, let's start off over here. We have some seedless red grapes. The girls love these grapes. Um, we have some broccoli, peppers. I'm so glad. Aldi normally do like the peppers that are red, yellow and green. And I hate the green peppers. And I end up chucking them away, um, which is so bad. So I'm really glad that they've brought out this one, which is the sweet mixed peppers. We've got cucumber, tomatoes, mushrooms. Um, we normally buy the really big, like, packs. I think they're, like, £1.40, um, but they didn't have those there today. So we've just gone for just some normal mushrooms. We've got bananas, melon, which is the girls' favourite. Um, and also some oranges, which Everly, every single morning, has one of these cut up into slices. Picked up some plums. I don't normally pick up plums, but I really want to see if the girls will enjoy these. If not, then I absolutely love plums anyway. Excuse my nails. I really need to get them painted. Um, then we've just got some apples here and some spinach. So, had an absolute bargain with... Um, the chicken, these two pieces which are exactly the same, these are going to go straight in the freezer anyway. Normally I freeze my meats straight away unless I know I'm going to eat it within the next two days just because I got into a really bad habit of buying and then meat went out of date and it just really really wound me up. Um, so most of my meats I put in the freezer and then either the night before or the morning of I will defrost it. Got two packs of the diced chicken which I'm going to use for two evening meals. Then I picked up some pork loin medallions. I normally do these in like a barbecue sauce, they are so lovely. Picked up a pack of smoked bacon for our fry up at the weekend, always have a fry up. We have got some beef mince for anything, whether it be chili con carne, spaghetti bolognese, lasagna, anything like that. Um, we picked up 12 free range eggs and then down here we've got some wafer thin honey roast ham, Vienna. I'm sure you've heard this in all of my food videos. Vienna is obsessed with wafer thin ham. Mark asked for some sea bass. So he has that fried in like lemon and lemon juice. It's 
disgusting to me, but he loves that. Um, broccoli, I swear I've just said that, so I'll leave that. <laughs> we have two different milks, one for me and one for Mark. Then over here we have some light Greek style raspberry yogurt and some Elmerly double cream. That is to obviously go with either the carbonara or the chicken and mushroom stroganoff. Picked up some extra mature cheddar cheese, some tubits, which are basically just the Aldi version of Froobs. This is new and I cannot stand vegetables, like I can't even eat them. Uh, so I bought this and I am actually gonna give this a try. It probably sounds really, really gross, but I'm gonna try and have this at lunch with a tin of tuna, mix it all up because I also buy roasted vegetable couscous, which I mix with tuna and that's really nice. So I thought I would give that a go. Wet wipes and obviously nappies for the girls. Um, Vienna is, is well, she's, she is still in them, but just at night. And then Everly, we are slowly trying to potty train. Um, but each day she literally takes it as she goes. She, one day she is brilliant and wants to go on the potty. And then the next day she will refuse and wants a nappy on. So we're just taking it in our stride. Um, there's no rush. I picked up some of the Clear Skies fabric conditioner. We've got some Caesar salad dressing. Vienna asked for some lemon juice. Now this isn't lemon juice, I know, it's apple and pear, but I'm hoping I can pass it off as lemon because of the colour. <laughs> some tomato ketchup and some tomato puree. And I picked up these pots for Mark. He takes them in the morning for work. Picked up some beans, some chunky chopped tomatoes. And we already have two tins of tuna. I always buy it in spring water, but because we obviously bought a five pack probably last week, I'm guessing. Um, we've still got a couple of tins left, so I only picked up one of those. We picked up a fajita dinner kit. Um, we've got some bacon potatoes and sweet potato fries because I never buy chips. I always make them myself, so I picked up two packs of those. Then over here, we have um, mini corn on the cobs. The girls absolutely love corn on the cobs and it is the only vegetable well, Everly, actually, I tell a lie, she'll eat anything, but Vienna, this is the only vegetable that I can get in her, so you'll see in a minute we pick up more sweet corn, but picked up the mini corn on the cobs, we've got some chicken dippers, and then we've got a pack of the super sweet sweet corn as well. Then we also have three bottles of soya, which we just, whenever we go to Aldi, we always buy these as a backup. Um, Everly drinks the Alpro 1 to 3, milk um, which we have to get in like Tesco's, Asda, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, those kind of places. But we always pick these up as a backup because we use these in her meals. Then the girls ice lollies, these are Vienna's and these are Everly's. Then over here we have a bit of a mixed variety but the pasta ricey section I picked up two packs of the classic whole grain rice. They are so easy for like two minutes and they're done. These we can obviously use with any meals. Everly loves rice and tuna as well, so it's a perfect like lunchtime snack for her when Vienna's at school too. Then we've got some instant chicken noodles. I picked up some of these because I've seen so much on TikTok of this TikTok pasta. This is the roasted vegetable couscous that I was talking about just a minute ago that I love with tuna it is so nice spinach roasted vegetable couscous on top and tuna absolutely beautiful then i just grabbed some strawberry laces for the girls and some plain flour because i've been making vienna's pancakes with self-raising flour <laughs> recently because i didn't have any plain so i just picked that up so that is everything on this side. Now I had to go to Tesco's because I needed to pick up obviously Everly's free from stuff but over here this is still Aldi. We have got some mini cheese bakes which Vienna has and Everly, I do not know why, I thought she would prefer having things like you know like the teddy faces but she doesn't. She likes these which are just the plain ready salted crisps. We we'll picked those up. We've also got some crumpets and some wholemeal wraps. Everly has her own, which we already have. Picked up, obviously, because we've got Mason as well. So for Mason and Vienna, picked up some mini chocolate chip cookies, some chocolate chip cake bars. 
Then for Everly, she loves these, so I don't care if it says seven months. <laughs> um, she just loves them, so I still buy them for her, and these are the carrot puffs. Picked up some tortilla chips, which I am going to have with probably the fajitas, I reckon, with some cheese on top. Just grabbed some non-scratch sponges, because we've run out of those. And then I think this, oh, apart from, obviously, the water... The water is Aldi, um, and this, which I've never seen before, and it had 75% off, so again, I'll probably pop this in the freezer for little Everly, but they are the free from hot gluten-free hot cross buns. They have spiced buns with raisins, currants, sultanas, orange, and lemon peel. So I thought I would pick them up for her. I don't know if she's going to like them but I thought I would just pick them up for her. So then from Tesco's, grabbed a bottle of water and also a cafe latte. Love these, they're my favourite. Then for the girls, we always, always, always use the Fred and Flo. Um, just works really well with the girls' hair because they've got quite fine but thick hair, if that makes sense. Um, works perfectly. Picked up some muffin cases because I want to make some mini banana muffins for the girls. Everly's favourite onion rings, they taste better than our like normal onion rings. Rice snaps, then I also picked up some of these um, soy alternatives to fromage fries. She loves them. Two bars of chocolate, and then also these, oh again, were from Aldi, um, but picked up these as well. She loves them in the morning with her breakfast. Picked up some Violife vegan cheese. Yeah, that is everything I bought. So all of the stuff in Aldi came to 50, yeah, 59.99. And then in Tesco's, Everly's stuff came up to, I think it might have been about 12, 12 or 13 pounds because I, I bought a couple of other things as well, um, which wasn't part of the food shop. <laughs> but that was quite a reasonable shop for us. I would say on average we normally spend between 80 to 100 pounds um, for five of us but I think that is actually really really good. Okay so I've put this all out just so that you can see the evening meals that we are having. So for one of the evenings we will have the pork with broccoli and sweet potatoes. Obviously we won't use all of these so we'll have some left over if I wanted to do them with something else. Then we will also have the fajitas with the chicken, peppers, and I'm going to do some tortilla chips with cheese on. Um, then this will be the chicken and mushroom um, stroganoff, and we will have that with whole wheel rice. That over there is for the TikTok pasta. The only thing that I completely forgot to pick up was feta cheese, but I have a feeling that I actually have some in the fridge already. Then over here we have got the beef mince, which I will do a, could be anything, either lasagna, I could do spaghetti bolognese. Um, obviously, if I'm doing any of those, then I use the chunky chopped tomatoes. Then Mark also has his sea bass for one of his meals, um, which he will probably have that when we have the TikTok pasta. I don't even know the name of it. That's what I call it, TikTok pasta. So like I said, this has changed a little um, from obviously the things that I bought in the food shop, but not massively. The only thing I think I've changed is the chicken risotto. But apart from that, everything else has pretty much stayed the same. I really hope that this video gave you a little bit of inspiration if you're stuck on any meal ideas. I will see you on our next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.